What's up, Niner family? My name is JT Magnum, and welcome to Niner News. The 49ers uh, played a tough game this Sunday in Philadelphia. They they uh, they gave it to Philadelphia the first quarter. They they were they were sticking with them, and it just seemed like they were you know maybe they could hang tight with them for a second. And Philadelphia is pretty much you know touted as one of the best teams in the NFL, if not the best team in the NFL. And the Niners gave them a quick run for their money at the beginning, but then. The wheels kind of fell off, and they ended up falling to the Eagles 33-10 to in a game that saw a number of San Francisco 49ers get injured. Like, I'm talking a crazy amount of players getting injured. It just seems like every other play a Niner drops. Um, I, I've watched every game this year, and I kid you not, it just seems like every other play a 49er drops to his knees and is hurt. And it's just like one after the other. It's getting to the point where every time somebody drops, I'm like, what? Who now? What now? Like, who? Like, what is going on? Like, I don't know. I, I know I know players get injured on every team. I know I know people get injured. But it just seems like the 49ers have had a – is it me? Or does it seem like the 49ers get – have just an insurmountable amount of injuries every year? At least the last three years I could think of, they had some crazy, just unusual, just high amount of injuries. It just seems like I don't know what they're doing, how they're practicing, what's going on. But the 49ers are just, they, they need to do something with their strength coach or something or with something because they're just always hurt. And it's just getting frustrating. And, I, and I'm going to go ahead and say it's Balky's fault because, Trent Balky, because when he was here, he was drafting injured players. He was just drafting players that I think that are just garbage and and he they just don't pan out and it just seems like all the time they're on injured reserve and it's just getting frustrating but oh another thing real quick notice what i have on here i'm gonna show you real quick it's a navarro bowman jersey jersey t-shirt and i don't know if anybody if anybody else has this happen but every time somebody buys me a jersey like when i buy a jersey i buy one with my name on it I get my own like custom number and I get my custom name printed on the back of the jersey because I am terrified because every time somebody buys me a jersey, whether it be a jersey or a jersey t-shirt, that player gets either traded, released, or let go, or something happens, or career-ending injury. Like I've had Steve Young jersey, I had a reversible Steve Young jersey back in the day with the old 49er uniforms that kind of like burgundy, not burgundy, but dark reddish old 49er uniform. It was like a reversible Reebok jersey. I get that jersey, I'm so excited, boom, concussed, done for the year, and then on top of that, he retires. I'm like, what the heck? Um, I get a Frank Gore jersey, He's let, he he leaves, he goes to Indy. I've got a Terrell Owens jersey, he left, went to Philly. Um, I got a um, um, Jerry Rice jersey, he left, go to Oakland. Every time I get something, <laughs> they go away. They like end up retiring or something happens or, or they leave. And so I, I don't, oh, it just sucks when you have to, when you get jerseys. But I still wear this one probably because I just love Navarro Bowman. So, anyways, four years lost 33 to 10, like I said, to the Eagles. They gave him a tough game. Um, seems like we gave Carson Wentz a lot of fits. So I bl blitzing him a lot, but still prevailed in the end. Um, not much really to talk about in this game. Like I said, the 49ers are 0-8 now. And just when we thought, just when we thought that everything is looking, you know, just gloomy, like C.J. Brethers not panning out, Brian Hoyer's just sucking, it just seems like the 49ers are not playing well. You know, there's just it just seems so horrible. Bam, Monday Night Football happens, and I'm watching the game. On the screen comes a trade trade announcement, and there it is. 49ers acquire Jimmy Garoppolo from the Patriots for a second round pick. I was like, are you kidding me? I was like, yes, 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 and yes. I was so happy. My wife was like, what's going on? I was like, yes. She was like, what, you're winning your fantasy game? I was like, no, but uh, that doesn't matter. What, ha what I, The Niners traded for a quarterback, and it's a quarterback I wanted. Finally, Lynch just seems to be making moves. Lynch and Shanahan seem to be making moves that just, they're making me happy. They're making me happy, guys. They're they are they are doing things that, that I've been wanting to do for a long time. And you guys know it. I've said it on my videos. Acquire Jimmy Garoppolo. Acquire, figure out how to get the quarterback out of the Patriots and just get him. 
He's cheaper. He's younger. And we can work with him. And now we got it. We got a future at quarterback. I don't know how good he's going to be. We don't know. No one knows. But I know he was good in his, in his two starts that he played with New England. I know that he's a smart dude. He can learn that system. He's eager to play. He wants to play for the 49ers. And how do you not want that? How do you not want that on your team? A guy that wants to be here. A guy that wants to win. A guy that wants to be a leader on the team. So, excited about that. The Niners did make some other moves. They dropped Will Redmond. They also dropped... Has in, they also, I'm sorry. They released Will... Excuse me, Will Redman, who was on IR, go figure. He's been on IR pretty much his whole career, which was since last year. Um, and also, they uh, traded um, Rashard Robinson to the Jets. Rashard Robinson has been nothing but a disappointment. Um, just can't, he can't, he can cover. Problem is, he covers too tight to the point where he's getting penalties. And he's just all over wide receivers. And those penalties are costing the 49ers games, has been costing the 49ers giving up big points on the defense and we can't you can't do that you just can't do that anymore and the Niners were tired of it they released them or I'm sorry they traded them to the Jets got rid of them wiped their hands clean of another bulky player I'm sorry another two bulky players in in Will Redmond and um and um and Rashad Robinson and those two picks will forever stick in my memory guys because those two picks were literally the third and fourth round picks of last year's draft uh, for the 49ers at Balky. And if you don't remember correctly, I'm a big Dak Prescott fan. He was literally picked, I think, two or three picks after Will. Um, I'm sorry, Rashad Robinson was picked in the fourth round. Will Redman was picked in the third. People, I watched, I watched Twitter that whole draft day, and I watched his. People were begging Balky, begging the 49ers, please draft Dak Prescott. He's right there. Draft Dak Prescott. We need a quarterback. He's right there for the taking. And he just passed and passed and got two cornerbacks. And now those two cornerbacks are on the team, which is just shows goes to show you how bad Balky is. He's so he's so bad that he he's so bad at drafting that literally since what 2014, I think. None of his draft picks have panned out. A lot of them are not even in the NFL anymore. That's how bad he is. How can you draft so many players that that we ended up having to let go that are not even in the NFL anymore? Just garbage. And how that guy, if he even has a job, I think he works for somebody now in the NFL, but how he has a job, I have no clue. How the guy can even, how? How can he even be a scout? How can you be... How can you even consider yourself a scout? You can't even like pick. You can't even pick decent players to be on a team. He pretty much almost set the 49ers. He literally set the 49ers back years. And Lynch and Shanahan are trying to do the best, the best they can, try to right this ship and turn this team around as fast as they can. There, and they're trying. Believe me, they're trying. By all these moves, you can tell they're trying. So it's crazy. Oh, another side note: uh, the Cleveland Browns try to trade for AJ McCarron. Do you want to? Do you want to know how good Lynch is at negotiating and how Lynch is? How good Lynch is at at acquiring players, and how he's good. How good he is at making deals. Lynch got Jimmy Garoppolo for a second round pick for for the from the Patriots, where AJ McCarron w- was almost dealt to the Browns for a second and third round pick. Now, who would you rather have, AJ McCarron or Jimmy Garoppolo? I think I'd rather have Jimmy Garoppolo, but a second and a third round pick, Cleveland almost tried to give up, and they wanted Garoppolo before, but Lynch snatched him and got him. So. Just goes to show you how much of a better GM Lynch is, and how how he's you know really taking upon taking it upon himself and working with Shanahan to try to make this 49er team the best they can be. I know they're 0 8 guys, but there's now there's room for us to be optimistic about the rest of the season, and on top of that, the you know our future next year, and see how you know we can get. We're a pretty young team. We need to add some pieces next year. We have the most money under the cap next year, and let's see what we can do with it. But and now we don't have to pay Kirk Cousins thirty million dollars a year, and that's another thing. We don't have to give up any picks for him if they if they if they try to um, franchise him. We try to get him from from the Redskins. We don't have to pay him this high salary that he's been making the last two years, and we get you know we pay Garoppolo obviously whatever we're going to pay him, but we can afford it. The Niners can definitely afford to pay Garoppolo, so. I'm excited to see what the 49ers do in the future. But let me know in the comment section what you thought about the game. Let me know what you thought about the trade. Let me know the moment you found out about the trade, what you did and what you said. Um, how how good do you feel about Garoppolo moving forward with this team? Let me know what you think about Rashad Robinson being traded to the Jets um, and Will Redmond being released. How you thought? How how did you how do you think those picks? 
you know, what we what we what we could let me know what you wanted at that point in the draft at thir- the third and fourth round where we picked and we passed up on on my favorite player on Dak Prescott at that point. So um, let me know in the comment section what you thought about that. And uh, yeah, that's it, guys. Moving on for next week, the 49ers are playing the Arizona Cardinals this week on Sunday. And after that, I think it's a buy. And then hopefully, hopefully, I think it's a buy. I'm not sure. But hopefully after that, um, after the bye week, Garoppolo will be playing. Um, you might not know the full offense yet, but at least he'll be playing. We'll get a little taste of, of what he can do uh, with the future of this team. So I'm so excited, guys. I'm really excited about the Garoppolo. Um, finally, something to be excited about this year, despite the 0-8 record and stuff like that. And we don't have to draft the quarterback anymore, so that really excites me. I really did not like the college quarterback class. I really, you guys know it. I've been saying it in all my videos. I just did not feel comfortable drafting a college quarterback this year in the draft. So oh, I'm just excited. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a like if you like the video. Don't forget to dislike it. If you didn't like it, it's okay. No matter what, it gives me a rating, and, and that's what I appreciate, all right? And so for JT Magnum, 9 News, I'm out. Peace, y'all.